Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about ChargePoint. They make EV charging stations, and they have the largest market share of networked level 2 stations in North America, having over 70% of the market share. Currently they have over 5,000 commercial and fleet customers worldwide, and they were founded in 2007. The current CEO of ChargePoint is Pasquale Romano. He joined ChargePoint in February of 2011. He was a co-founder of Two Wire in 1998, held multiple positions in marketing and engineering at Polycom. He was also a co-founder of Fluent and served as the chief architect from 1989 to 1993. Currently, he's an advisor on the board of Levitate Capital, and he holds an undergraduate degree in computer science from Harvard University and received his Master of Science degree from MIT. ChargePoint offers a variety of products, but they're mainly focused on commercial and fleet stations. But aside from those commercial stations, they also do sell a home charger. That home charger is the ChargePoint Home Flex. It's a 240 volt charger and it delivers up to 50 amps and it's priced at $699. ChargePoint offers a number of commercial level two and three stations. Businesses purchase hardware from ChargePoint and ChargePoint doesn't end up owning most of the ChargePoint stations. A cloud subscription is required for all commercial stations. Home charging comes with the service for free, but that cloud subscription is mandatory for all commercial and fleet stations. The cloud service grants customers access to all of the benefits that a networked charging station offers. Network charging stations are connected remotely online. Operators of these kinds of stations can view analytics and reports, control pricing, and more. ChargePoint also offers an extended maintenance service called Assure, and ChargePoint offers something that they call ChargePoint as a Service, which is a bundle of hardware, the installation, cloud service, and Assure all in one subscription service. Under that service, hardware is owned by ChargePoint and is leased to the customers. Looking at ChargePoint's annual report from last year, we can see that hardware sales make up 72.1% of total revenue for 2021. Subscription sales made up 22.2% of revenue, and other revenue made up 5.7% of it. It's worth noting that the subscription revenue consists of the cloud services, Assure, and ChargePoint as a service, which, as I had described, also includes hardware, but since it's all one service, that's also included in that subscription category. All of that tallies up for $241 million for 2021. The gross profit margin of hardware revenue was 15.2%, the gross margin for subscriptions was 41.7%, and the gross margin for other revenue was 34.3%. This gives ChargePoint a total gross profit of $53.5 million, with a gross margin of 22.2% overall. R&D expenses totaled $145 million, sales and marketing expenses were $92.6 million, general and administrative expenses totaled $81.4 million, and the total operating expenses was $319 million. That brought ChargePoint to an operating loss of $265.4 million. That operating loss was helped out by some changes in fair value of stock warrant liabilities and contingent earnout liabilities, but despite that, ChargePoint still ended up with a net loss before income taxes of $135.2 million, and an overall net loss of $132.2 million. Since the time that their annual report came out, ChargePoint has released their first quarter fiscal year 2023 financial results, which makes their trailing 12-month price-to-sales ratio come in at 13.8. Volta has a price-to-sales ratio of 9.7, Blink is at 22.2, EVgo is at 24.5, Beam is at 14.2, and Tesla is at 12.2. So as far as just price-to-sales ratio alone goes, you are getting a fairly good deal with ChargePoint. Volta is lower, while Blink and EVgo are much higher. Out of these large charging networks, Tesla is probably the safest because they're already profitable and they don't really need to make a profit off of their charging network as they can offset it by the rest of their business. So I'll definitely be making more videos on ChargePoint and other EV charging networks in the future, but that's about it for today's video. I hope you guys found it interesting and let me know if you guys want to see more videos like this. I'll see you guys in the next one.